Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some very, very intriguing stuff to go and talk about, more so in the ongoing big acquisition that's still going on when it comes to PlayStation. So we actually have some very intriguing news coming from Jim Ryan, the PlayStation CEO himself, about the fact of how they're actually going to be promising and doing even more as well. And on top of that, part two is going to be us kind of going through with a really big deep dive on what is like the main thing we're watching, because there's really three or four major companies that just keep on coming out. And this also kind of comes off the news too as well with a lot of really big leakers and industry people discussing this, stating that more of this is kind of coming. And we've probably throughout this past week or so have mentioned there's probably at least like 17 different people I've seen that have brought this on up. So I want to go bring it up myself and talk about it a little bit more and kind of give you guys the rundowns because all of it's always very, very intriguing. So if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. Twitter and Twitch stream as well. Link down below and sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100, get a bunch of free stock for your money. Same with that Coinbase too as well. And let's go and dive on into the video itself. So... As you guys have probably heard, we've mentioned this a lot on the channel, a lot of it's on Twitter, a lot of it pretty much everywhere. We've had Xbox go and get Activision, aka Call of Duty, and also how the other various big ones too, such as Bethesda. And then we also had Sony, not that that long ago, do a few buyouts with like Howard Smart Q, Bungie especially, and all from there. But the thing is, the thing is... We are expecting more. We've had official statements from the CEO himself, even as of recently, these past few days, stating there's going to be even more on the way. And this is why it gets a little bit more on the juicier side. So we actually have an article over here from GameSpot discussing the good old little PlayStation president himself says even more acquisitions are coming. And this is also true as well. Like we, I think we had previous statements of him stating we're going to have more, and then there actually even more happened. <laughs> and even then still, we've also had that looming, like lingering waiting for us to get even more consoles. So with this... After buying five studios in 2021 and two so far in 2022, Sony promises even more deals are in the works. So, Sony Interactive Entertainment President Jim Ryan has promised that the company will continue to acquire more studios in the future following a big buying spree in 2021. Sony acquired five studios in 2021 and then 2022 so far. And once again, so far, it announced deals to buy Destiny 2 developer Bungie and Jade Raymond's Haven Studios. Uh, in case you guys missed it too as well, uh, Jade Raymond's actually was more of a recent acquisition, although at this point, as it's a little bit more on the lesser known, uh, basically, studio itself, they have not released a single game yet, but... It's kind of composed of a lot of old school industry like higher ups and as well also has that really good idea of pushing more on the live service games. Once again, think like Bungie, think like Destiny, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, which does really seem like it's Sony's marketing plan. In his uh, appearance in the latest PlayStation podcast, Ryan said that it's one, one of the ways PlayStation's growing its business is through buyouts and fans can expect this to continue. We're growing through acquisition. We plan five studios through the course of 2021, and we're in discussions with Bungie, and we have more planned, Ryan said. Ryan made the announcement during the wider comment regarding why Sony's new version of PlayStation Plus will not add day one new releases like Xbox Game Pass does. Like he said earlier on this week, Ryan explained that Sony won't put new releases on a subscription service on day one because investing in games and studios leads to a, a virtuous cycle where success begets success. So first and foremost, I do kind of think their main idea is somewhat of a cop-out because it does seem like Game Pass does very, do very well, although they do have Microsoft money so they're kind of more allowed to churn through money and churn through stuff. But the big thing is, we keep on seeing this rumor, and I've mentioned a lot on my channel, that Sony likes to focus on the live service. They like to, they want to push that because it does make and print money. Think GTA prints money. Think Fortnite prints money. Even the other games, say like League of Legends, Apex, and all those other various types of games where they allow the game to change and allow people to keep on coming back to that same game. So instead of having to make a new game every one year, say like Call of Duty, they instead just have one big game that they keep on maintaining, which is why they have a game like Warzone, because as you guys could probably agree, Warzone seems like it's pretty always relevant, while Call of Duty kind of goes up and down. So that probably explains like maybe their next big acquisition focus when it comes to what games and games they want to go get is maybe a company in regards to that. 
but as well, there's a lot of other, uh, other ones also on that lead to as well. So Sony wants to make games that are bigger, better, and have more narratives too on top of that for the single player side. So not just focusing on live service, but single player too as well as their other aspects. And Jim Ryan said sticking with the traditional paid model is a way to keep the cycle intact going forward. So I can kind of agree. I kind of want to hear your thoughts on that first and foremost before we dive into more acquisition talk. So with this, he also states putting these games into a subscription service immediately upon their release would break the cycle itself. We won't be able to invest the way we're currently able to. We kind of touched on this before in a previous video, and so we're not doing it. And we're going to stick to the approach that we have and the approach that served us well over many years now, too, as well. So this is also in regards to on top of this, because we've actually covered some of this even a few years ago, where actually Sony bought a Valkyrie Entertainment, House Mark Q, which is you know, part of Returnal, Blue Point as well with the Demon Souls remake, Fire Sprite, and Nixies, and as well, this is a big one, too. Sony also invested $200 million more million into Fortnite Studio, Epic Games. So very intriguing to go and see this one. So now let's go into the more interesting acquisition part. So for this, we actually have three really big acquisitions that we're mainly on the look for, and then two other side ones. The first one and big one for this one too, and I'm, this has actually been kind of bumping up a lot, a lot more, although I do want to kind of somewhat quietly shut it down, although it is very possible. It's still on the Konami side. Now, Konami actually has a lot of big gaming IPs that are basically just laying dormant. No one's really utilizing them. No one's really kind of activating them. And as well, as you guys probably know on the memes, Konami more pushes on, say, like, like gambling machines. So they kind of want, like, for, like, the Japanese, like, gambling style games like that. So for them, they have games like Silent Hill. Hill. And think with Sony's uh, basically connection with Kojima, one of the, you know, the big founding fathers of these games, and they already have that really nice connection with them, which is also, at a side note, is also a game company that a lot of people are assuming Sony may want to go buy and pick up, which I'd actually probably be cool with. But imagine that. You have a really close uh, connection with Kojima, and you buy out Konami. So at that point, he technically he's still, by proxy, will own his IPs, and then could also be put in charge of leading and making either the next Metal Gear or Silent Hill, which would be the perfect win-win, because as you guys know, Death Stranding was a very, very big connection with the PlayStation 5. And as well as also some old-school games you guys probably heard of, like Bomberman, and as well as also Castlevania, and also Yu-Gi-Oh! Although this is on the slightly lesser chance, because Konami itself, as I mentioned, is more on the IP-heavy side, and probably would not want to get rid of these IPs, because they are still gold mines even to this day. And also thanks to, like, Castlevania for Netflix, or Silent Hill for, like, a show, etc. There's also a lot of potential as well. But on top of that, too, we also have another big one, which is Kato Katokawa. Katokawa, <laughs> which, if that doesn't kind of ring any bells, is actually the big owner of FromSoft. So the actual makers of all the Demon Souls, the Kiro, and obviously recently... Elden Ring. And this is actually one that's been kind of getting a lot more attention, mainly because it would just make a lot of sense in terms of uh, their game, and more so on the anime industry, too, as well. As you guys know, uh, Sony themselves try to get Funimation and Crunchyroll, although the one kind of big caveat for this one might be in the fact that it might be pushing too much of a big major monopoly, and a lot of Japanese and American-based studios would, and governments would probably want to try to shut it down. If it's too close to a major monopoly, it may also shut it down, even if they're trying their best to push for the gaming side. Because, as I mentioned, say for Konami, they also have IPs such as Yu-Gi-Oh!, which would actually maybe make sense to either be rebooted or also utilized as well, but also a lot of the games and game series, too, on top of that. But on the part two of that will also be on uh, Katokawa, since they also own a lot of anime, too, has a little bit of an issue tied on in. But also kind of also leads into, and funny enough, all these also have their own anime-based type styles, Square Enix, which is probably the one other big one, too. Although we keep on hearing rumors, like very small things for Capcom, and for some odd reason, they keep on trying to push Ubisoft, too, as well. Although I personally think Ubisoft is going to be their own free bird. Square Enix also has a very strong siding, too, as well, because with their Japanese-based nature, and as you guys have probably seen, Square Enix also has a lot of really big connections when it comes to PlayStation, such as having the Final Fantasy the 16 game which I'm still like I wish we could see more updates for at this point like I just want that game to come out you guys can also see they have like a lot of their exclusivities they've worked with Sony for FF14 and as well just a lot of Square Enix games are just kind of go hand in hand when it comes to Sony and as well Square Enix also does have its own anime division too which would also be easy to go plop on into for when it comes into say Funimation and Crunchyroll's acquisition so just a lot of intriguing stuff too when it comes to Jim Ryan stating about all these acquisitions and as well part two very intriguing scene on what the potentials may be so if you guys just based on the same information that we have what do you guys think 
PlayStation is going to buy. What do you guys think that Jim Ryan's going to settle on? And I kind of want to hear your thoughts and comments down below. And as well, I hope you guys are having a fantastic and lovely day. Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on, as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for the PS5 disc, digital console, and controller. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below if you guys want to follow up on either side and the Twitter giveaway too as well. We also have the Weeble. Sign up for Weeble. Deposit $100. We've got a bunch of free stock and free money. Same with that Coinbase too as well. And I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. And like I said, I'll see you guys later on throughout today for a bunch more videos.